Hello, this is Lion Wolf Butterfly. Uh, welcome back to another like project I've been working on. Um, if you have some interest in this, uh, you're also cool, but you're also probably mentally insane at the same time. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching in advance. <laughs> um, so this is basically just me like abusing mini modem. I'm trying to make a thing that would like. I'm not sure what case I would use it in. Maybe some sort of like radio balloon. Uh, radio balloon. Sorry, weather balloon. Um, it does say radio sound on it or radio sound, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, but that was just kind of an example. Either way, yeah, so this is me just kind of screwing around with mini modem, and if you didn't know, mini modem is, uh, the program that you're looking at right now. Uh, this is just because the program can't really identify anything it's, you know, hearing. Uh, it kind of just hears nothing because there's no tones being played, but basically it's audio frequency shift keying, so like, you know, uh, a 1 is like a 1000 hertz tone and a 0 is a 500 hertz tone. N that's not exactly what it is, but that's just, you know, as an example. Um, so, yeah, so it's just converting stuff to binary and then spitting it out, you know, the Raspberry Pi's, uh, you know, external audio jack or, you know, whatever. Um, I'm obviously, as you can see here, I'm using 400 baud. Um, so, you know, let's just stop all the... BS and just get right into it. Sadly, I am going to have to turn off uh, noise cancellation, so um, you'll be hearing me like this, and it's going to be very annoying. I I understand there's a lot of background noise, but in order for you to hear the uh, tones, that's what's going to have to happen. Sorry about that noise. That's my router. Uh, I think I fixed it. Okay. Anyway, so let's just uh, start this here and uh, switch the screen so you can see it. All right, we're gonna start this now. And remember that nothing is final. This is just testing, you know, just abusing mini modem with a Raspberry Pi. So the on the receiving end, which you're seeing right now, is a Raspberry Pi 3, and on the sending or the transmitting end is a Raspberry Pi 4. So uh, let's just start this up right now, and here you go, I'm gonna shut up. And then for some reason here, I decided to make it sound the Statue of Liberty. Um, this is not final at all. The theory behind this is that, you know, say my radio got untuned or something, I need time to somehow find the signal or tune in. So a bunch of, you know, blank unnecessary data is going to be transmitted here, like probably just periods. I just put the Statue of Liberty to make it more interesting. But, um... So it, it would just give me time to like tune in and stuff like that so I'm not, you know, losing valuable data, you know. Either way, obviously all that's going to be logged, but, you know, it's fun to have the whole receiving part of it, like, as it's happening. Because, you know, say it crashes and we can't recover it. You know, if it, it depends on what it is, but, yeah, I think that could be helpful. So either way, I'm going to shut up again. <laughs> Sorry, my AC just kicked on there. It's a bit of a hum in the background. I guess that's a good ulterior over the uh, hissing, but you know, doesn't make it much better. And uh, here we go. This is like whenever the system reboots, so none of this is final.
I uh, went a bit overboard with this, but you know, it was fun. Okay, right here is where it sends the data, and then right now it would be snapping a picture with the onboard camera, and it's very loud, but it'll start sending it over SSTV. So I'm going to end the video right here before my ears start breaking. Right on cue. Uh, thank you for watching Line Wolf Butterfly. I gotta go shut that off. Uh, have a nice day, and make sure to subscribe if you can still hear me, that is. Alright, anyways, thank you for watching. Goodbye.